VACC's Technical Advisory Service receives many calls requesting a procedure to replace the EGR valve and cooler on the 2.2 litre turbo diesel Holden Captiva. EGR valves and coolers are becoming a common addition on many models these days and as such are starting to present more issues for repairers. The EGR valve on the Captiva engine is actuated by a DC stepper motor controlled by the engine ECU to allow exhaust gases to enter the intake manifold. This process helps lower combustion temperatures and reduce oxides of nitrogen. As the EGR valve is electrically actuated, the system can develop electrical faults in the EGR unit or within the wiring, which can trigger diagnostic codes. As the exhaust gases enter the intake, they tend to mix with the blow-by gases from the positive crankcase ventilation system, which allows for carbon to build up. This carbon may affect the EGR valve's operation and restrict the intake manifold. The EGR cooler is designed to cool the exhaust gases before they enter the engine. Exhaust gases enter the EGR cooler and the heat from the gases are absorbed by engine coolant which is circulated through the passages in the cooler assembly, much like a radiator. This reduces the temperature of the exhaust gases before the EGR valve allows them to enter the intake manifold. Symptoms of an EGR cooler that has failed may include passing exhaust gases into the cooling system or coolant entry into the intake or exhaust manifolds. If you suspect that the EGR cooler is leaking, a common way to test it is to remove the coolant lines from the cooler and connect them together, bypassing the EGR cooler. If the cooling system can now hold pressure and the coolant level remains constant, you can be confident that the EGR cooler is leaking. Do not be tempted to leave the EGR cooler bypassed, as its removal may damage other parts of the engine and affect the vehicle's roadworthiness. For the replacement procedures for the EGR valve and EGR cooler on the 2.2 litre diesel Captiva, see the June 2020 issue of Tech Talk, log on to VACC's Motor Tech, or call VACC's Technical Advisory Service.